Believed to be the first position of its kind across the country, Detroit has hired what they're calling a chief storyteller. And now Detroit's Matthew Smith sat down with him to discuss what the goal is in telling these stories. I can tell you that um, there is an opportunity here to amplify and uplift voices of everyone in Detroit. There's a new face coming to and from the mayor's office these days. To build something new with the support of the mayor, I mean, that's that's almost unheard of. If you don't know Aaron Foley, chances are you've read him. Whether at the web-based MLive, Black Magazine, or his popular book, How to Live in Detroit Without Being a Jackass, Foley's work has always led him back to his passion, the city. There is a hyper focus of what's going on downtown and midtown with all the new developments and things like that. But there's also things going on in you know what we might refer to as the neighborhood. Foley hopes to shine a spotlight on places other than the downtown area you see so often, whether it's a Livernois in six or other areas the city is focusing on. In fact, he says this isn't just PR. This is about the people. So the stories he brings to the table may not be the city's talking points at all. Whether it's kids doing well in school or a revival in a local church, he wants Detroiters to feel proud of the stories that he tells. The people that keep the parks up, the people that play in the parks, things like that. I mean, those are that's part of Detroit that I know, and that's the part of Detroit that I want to share with the rest of the world. He'll do it through a website that has yet to be launched. It'll be different than the city's website, but it all connects. Foley also talks about TV and print-based works, but there's still a lot to be sorted out. It's experimental though too, so I'm actually, as of right now, I'm not sure what this thing is gonna look like. That doesn't mean that Foley doesn't have some ideas of what this is and isn't. He says he doesn't wanna tell the same stories that you've heard oh so many times before, the new young people or the wealthy people moving into the city and bringing jobs. He wants to get down to the actual people, the same people that he's hoping will be proud when they look at his writings. For the Now Detroit, I'm Matthew Smith.